Hi guys, so in this video I'm using Crochet Open size 4 millimeters and the yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 4 medium. So I'll start with this yarn. I'll start by making a slip knot and then I will chain 6. So now that I've chained 6 on the last chain from my hook, I will make a slip stitch. Let me zoom out a little bit, I think I'm too close. So now that we have created this uh, loop, I'll chain one and right here through this loop I'll make 12 single crochet. So now that I made 12 single crochets, through this first single crochet I'll make a slip stitch. And this completes row 1. And now for row 2 I'll chain 1 and through that same single crochet I'll make 1 single crochet. Now I'll chain 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now through this next single crochet I'll make 1 single crochet. Through the next single crochet, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain eight. Through the next single crochet, I'll make one single crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain eight. Through the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain 8. Now, through this next chain, I'll make 1 single crochet. Through the next chain, 1 single crochet. Again, I'll chain 8. Through this next chain, I'll make 1 single crochet. Through the next chain, 1 single crochet. Let's see how many of these loops we have. We need six. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So again, I'll chain eight. Through the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. Now, to finish this second row, right here through this first single crochet, I'll make a slip stitch. This single crochet we made in the beginning of row. And this completes row two. See we have uh, six of these eight chain loops. Now for row three, through this next, let's see, let's see, two chains, I'll make a slip stitch. Maybe one more. So through this third one, two, we make a slip stitch. All right, so now we'll chain three. Now right here through this uh, a chain loop I'll make six double crochet. So we have six double crochet plus the three chain in the beginning of this petal and that gives us seven double crochets in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now through this next eight chain loop I'll make one uh, slip stitch. Again, I'll chain three. Through that same eight chain loop, I'll make six double crochet. And again, this three chain in the beginning of this petal counts as one double crochet. So in total, we have seven double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now through this next eight chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Again, I'll chain three. Then through the same loop, I'll make eight chain loop. I'll make six double crochet. Through 
through this next eight chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Again, I'll chain three. Through the same eight chain loop, I'll make six double crochet. Through the next eight chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Again, I'll chain three. Through the same eight chain loop, I'll make six double crochet. Through this last eight chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Again, I'll chain three. Through the same eight chain loop, I'll make six double crochet. Now to finish row three, right here, through this uh, slip stitch that we have in the beginning of this row where we made this first petal, right through that chain I'll make a slip stitch. And now I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. Let me weave these ends in before we continue to row four, because obviously for row four we're going to use yarn in a different color. And that will be our final row. Then we'll join the motifs. Of course, you want to have you can join them any way you want to, but uh, today I'm going to just make them and then uh, not join them alone but separately. Let's see how that works out. All right, so this completes row three. Now for row four, I'm going to use yarn. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. We actually have five rows. I, I was mistaken because I remember we had to make a chain around these petals. So I'm going to use orange yarn. Um, so you see right here where we made this uh, three chain and the double crochet right here at the beginning of these uh, first petal, right through that loop, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain one, then through that same loop I'll make one single crochet. Now I will chain ten. Now right here between this next uh, three chain loop and first double crochet I'll make one single crochet. Again I'll chain ten. Again, between this next three chain loop and first double crochet, I'll make one single crochet, chain 10. Between this next three chain loop and first double crochet, I'll make one single crochet, chain 10. Between this next three chain loop and first double crochet, I'll make one single crochet chain 10 between the next three chain loop and first double crochet I'll make one single crochet chain 10 now to finish row 4 right here through this first single crochet I'll make a slip stitch so this completes row 4 now, and now 405, right here, let's see, I'll, so this next chain I'll make a slip stitch, and then I'll chain three, now through the next four chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So we have the three chain beginning of row plus these four double crochets and that gives us five double crochets in total. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. 
Now I'll chain two, then through the same chain I'll make one double crochet. Through the next four chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Now I'll skip this next single crochet and through this next five chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Basically repeating the same thing as we did through this first 10 chain loop. Don't mind those uh, stains here. My son was messing with a marker. He, he <laughs> used a black marker on orange, he thought it was cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So now I'll chain two, then through that same chain I'll make one double crochet. Through the next four chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Again I'll skip the next single crochet and through the next five chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. chain two, then through that same chain I'll make one double crochet. Through the next four chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So this row is going to be quite long, you know, just repeating the same thing over and over again. So um, I'm going to stop here, I'm going to do the rest of off the camera, but basically you have to repeat the same thing as we did here for the other half. Okay, so we just repeat this throughout row 5. So now to finish this row, right here through this third chain, I will make a slip stitch. Chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. I'll weave these ends in. We only have one end left because I've weaved the uh, the other ones along the way. All right, so this is how our work looks. Let me measure this. So the widest part right here is six inches. Hold on. Well, six and a half inches actually. All right now, see I already made uh, three more. Um, but I'm going to use blue yarn to join these ends in. So hopefully this will look good. <laughs> Sometimes the contrast color looks good and sometimes not, but we'll see. Sometimes it depends on the way you join them. But let's see. I'm just trying to attach this thing here in the back because the contrast color will be more visible. All right, so let's try something simple. Simplicity is always the best. All right, so I'm joining it from the wrong side. The right side is in. So I'm starting right here through this first. You see, we have these two chain. Right through the second chain, I'm joining this. Uh, oh, hopefully, this will look good. Because I don't know. You know, sometimes <laughs> you don't know how something will look 
um, until it's like, you know, too late. But you know what? I'm willing to take a risk. It's all right. Nobody's life depends on this. Doing the same thing through the two chains too. All right, now it's time to check this. Oh, looks nice actually. Okay, generally, I'll just join those two and just uh, turn off the camera. But I'm going to make something with these motifs. So I'm going to actually join uh, one more so you can see, so you can look, see it better. But let's see how we're going to do this one. Uh, hmm, so since we are here, we are going to start joining these two sides together. One. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to use a different yarn for this other side because I don't have to trim that because I'm going to make a few more motifs for uh, something I don't know what I'm going to make. But uh, actually, hold on. All right, I'm going to join these two sides together.
So here I joined one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of motifs. So the widest part is 16 and a half inches. And I'm just going to see if I can turn this into a hat. I'm not sure if it will work or not, but I'm willing to try. So right here, trace two chain loop, insert my hook, then insert my trace, slip my loop, and pull through. I'll chain one, then through that same loop, I'll make one single crochet. Now through his next two chains, I'll make two single crochet decrease. In the next two chains, I'll make two single crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two single crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two single crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two single crochet decrease. Through his next two chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Now, through his next two double crochets, you see here we have the decrease now, but that's uh, only around this flat part for now. Now, from here to here, I'll make uh, two double crochet decreases. So, through the next two ch chains, I'll make two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two double crochet decrease. Now through his next chain, I'll make one single crochet. Through his next two chain loop and through his next chain, I'll make two single crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two single crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two single crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two single crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, two single crochet decrease. Now through his next two chains again, two single crochet decrease. So we repeat this all around this first row. Now that I'm at the end of uh, this first row, right here through his first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row two, I will uh, chain one. Then through his two chains, I'll make uh, two half double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make two half double crochet decrease. So I'll continue this throughout row two. So now to finish the second row, right here through his first half double crochet, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row two. Now for row three, I'm going to just make one half double crochet through each chain and see how it looks. So I'll chain one and through the same chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make one half double crochet. 
through the next chain one half double crochet through the next chain one half double crochet so I would be making one half double crochet through each chain throughout row three So yeah, we just continue this throughout row 3, you just make one half double crochet through each chain. So now to finish row 3, right here to this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 3. Now for row 4, I'll repeat row 3. So I'll just uh, chain 1 and through the same chain, I'll make uh, one half double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. So the next chain one half double crochet so I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain throughout row 4 so let's just continue making one half double crochet through each chain so as I said we're repeating row 3 for row 4 and I don't know how many more rows I'll have to do I'm just like you know repeating row three, but uh, I'll tell you guys when I come back. See, we have uh, on the edge and area we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight rows in total on the headband area. And now, right here to this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch, I'll chain one. And I'll cut this yarn. Now we just weave these ends in. I think it's going to look good. <laughs> I always seem to think that. This headband around the area measures on eight and a half inches. So this is all for today, guys, and I'll see you next time with another video.